beautiful people welcome once again to H hey clothing and in today's video we're going to learn how to make this beautiful strap here yeah they're straps and they're usually attached to bustier or corset just to give it some kind of lovely kind of vibe like that you know what i mean okay so and we have a must here, thankfully, that we are just going to be creating the straps for, okay? And I don't know if we can see here, it's the bust here. If you've not seen this video, please click up here to watch this video. So this is just the plain old, not plain old. This is just the bust here without anything. And we're gonna be attaching this design element to revamp we are revamping this blouse okay so if you want to see how that will be done how we're going to achieve that please do keep on watching and thank you so much subscribe if you're yet to give me thumbs up smash this thumbs up button and let us dive right into today's video so now i'll just go ahead to prepare the lines that's the straps that we're going to be using for the design let us start measuring and cutting out what we will be needing. So I'm going to make my straps two and a half inch wide. I'll just be ruling two and a half inch and I'll just cut it on a straight line. So guys, this is my long, very long strip. Um, I guess you should do something long. I don't know the measurements. Depends on how many straps you'd want to achieve. And I eventually did three inches, folded it into two. I cut three inch wide instead of two and a half. And I sewed just about half inch round so that by the time I open it, we just have one inch strap okay so i'm going to use my needle and thread i'll knot it at the end and use it to turn this strap inside out what you do is you secure it at one point yeah secure the thread one point there then put this blunt end in then you use it to flip it just pass the blunt end through through this let it come out at the other side and then you flip it inside out okay guys so we have gone ahead to iron the straps neatly so everything is looking good now you have different ways of doing this right so you can either do it on the mannequin or on your client or on the paper so you know the exact measurements that you need to take but i'll just do it right on the mannequin okay so let's do that since we are done with our strip of fabric the next thing is to drape the crisscross on the bustier so we'll just go right ahead to um start cutting arranging and all of that so like what we can see we have one coming from here up onto the neck point okay so i'm going to pin it down here and pin it up here just by the nape of the neck so this one is coming from the armpit i don't know if we can see that clearly it's coming from this um joining of the armhole to that neck point there so i'm going to pin that there from there to that nape you can leave just a little for sewing allowance and we pin it there I'm just gonna cut that part away okay so 
you do this on your mannequin size the other one is coming from this armhole joining remember pin it inside and please you should fix the straps before you join your lining okay so that you can have a clean finish and it's going to the nape of the neck there I'm just going to put like half inch extra so that it's going to be sewn there I'll just pin it down there as well then there's one coming right from the center front to that nape of the neck as well so I'm going to pin it inside okay because this strap is already been attached to an already made blouse that's why then it's going to just go right to the middle not so high up so I'll pin it there too as well then the rest will just be um, coming from one it's coming the rest will be coming from the back somewhere here from the back okay so I'll just pin it inside there I hope you can see it all these things you just drape it on the mannequin and it's coming from the back it's going to go on top like this you pin it here so that it holds it's holding this part pin it here it's holding this part as well uh, okay. pin it here too so that it's holding this part then going all the way back to the back So it's going to the back here and we can cut it and tuck it in so just cut a little more and tuck it in so that's for one then we'll go another one for the second strap that one will be higher up so from this back from this back close to the zipper pin it in then go now let it touch that top that top that was there that place this top that is here let it cover up that stitch so just pin it down there on that top okay then pin it here too on this other top here let it cover that same stitch okay then go to the other place pin it that top too that part that we cut that raw edge let it cover and from there let it go to the back so this is what you'll be having at the back I can cut that part if you want to do more straps please feel free to do more to so go ahead to do more so this is what I'll be having on my own and it's kind of high up you can look adjust let it lay flat pin so that it's straight it's flat it looks good it'll stay nice so yeah it's looking good it's looking good now all these parts here you just gently quietly what is gently quietly you can just remove it from your mannequin easily right okay so this is what we'll be having from our pinning exercise okay and this is what the inside is looking like so if I had not attached my lining now, I'll have sewn this thing on this main fabric then use the lining to sandwich it in. But you know our blouse was already made before showing this. So this is what it's going to be. I'll just neatly, neatly like this sew it. So I'm going to hold it down, fold it in a little, 
fold it in a little then sew it down so that's what I'll do you can use hand stitch you can use your machine and you see all those parts that was cut please just fold it in a little so that the edges don't unravel you can fold it in this way and you use your hand stitch I prefer you use your hand stitch and stitch all of these things down so let me quickly do that and you see what was left it was quite a lot so if you wanted to run more lines you can maybe run a line from the armhole here from the armhole here it's fine but I think this is okay so let me just sew that and we will see it in a minute so I'm going to remove the pin and fold this this way and just hand sew it down so that it looks neat you can go ahead to use your um, sewing machine but of course you don't want it to show on the other end so just hand sew it down I'm going to do it in silence so I'll see you in a minute once I am done sewing everything Alright guys, so we are finally through with this project. It's quite easy and you can see that we transformed that basic um, peplum bustier top to this bougie one, okay? And all we just had to do was just attach the straps basically. So I'm sure you want to see how it looks. I'm sure you've even seen how it looks already, but you still want to see it again. So, Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying with me till the end. And do not forget to give me a big thumbs up, guys. Also, subscribe if you are yet to. Leave your comments below. Leave your comments below. Um, and I'll see to it, okay? Any other latest design styles that you want me to do, just let me know. See, I'm super sorry. This Christmas period, there's been a lot of, a lot of rush on me. Well, I'll be sure to get to your videos real soon, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all so very much. And till we see you in the next tutorial, stay safe. God bless you. Bye. Oh, oh.